Hi, I'm David Bosco with Butcher Barbecue. Today we're going to go over the basics of injecting a brisket. So let's get started. Let's start with our brisket injection. It is mixed up into proportions of two cups of water, three quarters cup of the injection, and it has gotten thicker consistency than standard water, and that's what you should expect with this. Let's look at the brisket. The brisket we're going to do use today is called a Packer brisket. It has a top, the, the top section, which is traditionally used for slicing, which is the flat, and then the bottom part, which is a deckle, which is um, called the point also. That is traditionally used for chopping or burnt ends. It can be sliced, but traditionally just this top section is. So we're going to inject this to help keep it moist through the cook process. Take, a, take our kitchen injection needle with a two inch long needle. You will pull it into the injector. And by placing it into the brisket, what you want to do is go in at a slight angle. You can see the grain of the brisket going this way. Go in at a slight angle so that you'll be breaking the barriers of many different um, angles of, the, of grains of the brisket. And while you're in there, as you're pulling it out, slowly inject the brisket by pushing on this and then scoot over and do it again. And what we like to do is go about every inch apart and move the needle in and out while you're doing it. And it will inject the brisket all the way across it and all the way through it. We like to say use a grid pattern like um, a checkerboard and just only hit like the red squares or the black squares. But what we'll do is we'll continuously go across it till the needle is empty. And you will get it to come out. As you can see, I'm moving it up and down. That's just a natural move for me whenever I'm injecting. We'll completely cover the brisket like this. I'm asked a lot and everything, well, how much do I put in each time I stick it? As you can see, I'm just pushing it in, going from the top to the bottom part of the brisket and I'm just injecting it. I'll, I'll push on the needle, on the syringe, and it'll completely cover the flat part. So, I, I, as you've seen, I put, it took about three full syringes to completely cover this flat. And this is a nice flat, and it should, it should, should be well covered, as you can see, like that. I am not afraid, and a lot of people will and some won't, but I'll put some into the point that I can see. I'll go ahead and inject the point and cover it up. I, I, I don't have a problem with going back the other direction and going back through the flat. The flat is traditionally a little more drier than the point, so I would I, I always like putting a lot in it to help hold the moisture. Well, after injecting, we recommend that you take a paper towel and wipe off any excess injection that's on top of the brisket. What that will do, that'll allow the rub to be in contact with the muscle itself. Without doing this, what we have found is that the injection will form a barrier between the meat and the rub itself, and then after it's been cooked, it'll wanna just flake right off. So we recommend that you just wipe off any excess. Well, that concludes our instructional video on how to inject a brisket. You can see this and many more at, you, at our YouTube channel or visit us at butcherbbq.com. See you down the barbecue trail.